Rachel would would love to ask you, you know, we were engaged in a conversation earlier talking about social media influence and how a news feed almost short cycles your brain uh, in terms of you, you just get group think, you know, like, you, you know, here's what's pr uh, provided to you. How would your platform kind of differentiate from you know, the Apple uh, news feed, the, um, you know, the Reddits, the Facebooks and everything else that you have today that to actually uh, spark curiosity from a critical thinking perspective, which I think is really the benefit of this group is we all know how to critically think, but it's seeming to be a lost art. Is, it, is there any thought in design or intellectual design to, counterbalance what the current market offerings are? Uh, very good question. And I would totally agree with you. I believe that one of the, the downfalls of social media is that has completely destroyed our ability to think critically and to see the other side or to walk in somebody else's shoes. Um, where algorithms, when you like, share, comment, whatever it is, algorithms are just geared to show you more, more of that, more of what you already believe or what you're already predisposed to believe. And even Facebook, even Zuckerberg has admitted that their algorithms lead to extremist behavior or extremists getting connected to extremist groups. Um, as far as what we're doing uh, right now, we're in early stages of development. So there's not a whole lot of algorithm going on <laughs> in all honesty, but I don't, I really don't want there to be algorithms other than you know if you have a story that you're going through making it easy for you to find that um, other stories of hope and resources for help in your hyper local community so allowing people to opt in to, to letting us know their location and be able to connect them to local resources but that has we want that to be totally opt-in um, we're not trying to collect data and, and use it against people to manipulate second of all I'm not I'm not really big, like, we're not really big on the like button, even though there is a like button in there right now. Uh, we want to have more meaningful reactions than that. And that's just not exactly how we're going to choose to show people things. You know, we're, we're encouraging through leadership, you know, voices, leaders, um, plus ones in the platform. We want to encourage people to read stuff and listen to stuff and share stuff that they might not normally read or share and this idea this hope that we build empathy um, when we start to see things from another point of view